So the first one let's look at here is copying and syncing of config maps. So here's the problem. Config maps like pods are namespaced resources. For a pod to use a config map, it must be co-located in the same namespace. The challenge typically is you have a lot of namespaces and you may need to use one config map across a bunch of different namespaces. Now, you could define that config map either multiple times in your GitOps tool of choice, or you could use other forms of automation or imperative declaration to ensure that you remember all of your namespaces and lay that down. But what Caverno can do for us here with its generation capability is allow you to define a config map in a central namespace, perhaps it's called platform as we'll show in this demo, and be able to drive that config map to both existing and new namespaces. But in addition to that, making sure that those config maps can all be kept in sync. This is great for platform teams because now it allows you to manage resources in just a central namespace and define the behavior that you want from an automation perspective as policy, as code that could be stored and deployed alongside all of your other resources. And so what we'll show here is that same type of paradigm. We'll have a namespace called platform, which we expect to define many resources that we need to consume across the cluster. And one of these will be a config map. And we want Caverno, once we install a policy, to lay that config map down across existing namespaces in the cluster. And you can see in this diagram that that's represented by a very creative namespace name called existing but also new namespaces that we expect to create after that point in time, we want those to get the config map as well. So in addition to a brown field, this is also useful in a totally green field environment and a combination of both, which is probably what you're going to fall into. So let's flip over and see this in action. So I've got a standard config map here and it's called org CA. And this config map, as the key denotes, is a CA certificate. Now, this is a certificate that's from my lab environment where I have an enterprise root certificate authority. And you may be doing something very similar where you might have a certificate that represents trust across your enterprise environment. And you need that certificate to be consumed by a bunch of different pods in a bunch of different locations, maybe even across clusters. Although, sure, you could define that, and, and perhaps you are doing that to, uh, to a certain extent by building it into your container images, maybe you need to decouple that for one reason or another. And config maps are commonly used for storing certificates, so that's what we'll do here. And we're going to put this certificate in a namespace called platform. And now what we want is to just be able to manage this CA, this config map, in our central namespace and have everything else be deferred to Caverno as a policy. So in our policy, and this is a standard Caverno policy, and we'll just walk through it very quickly, Caverno has the ability to write a policy that applies across the entire cluster very simply. And in this case, this is a Caverno cluster policy, which means it's doing just that. It's applying across the entire cluster. And we are going to ask Averno to generate a resource for us. And this is the generate type of rule. And we're going to generate for existing namespaces. And we're mapping, we're matching on namespaces. Now, once we match on any namespace, we want Caverno to generate this resource for us. It's going to be a config map, also named org CA. And the namespace is going to be whatever namespace it matches on. And it's going to clone from an existing resource that's out there. Another variant of this might be, rather than defining an existing, an existing resource that's out in your cluster, like we're doing here, this could be defined in line in the policy with a what's called data declaration. Now, I'm not showing that here, but that is another variant where if you didn't want to define this in a platform namespace, you could define everything in the policy and Caverna would work the same way. But we're also telling it to synchronize, which means that should any changes happen to the source resource that's here, then Caverna will respond and synchronize those changes down to every place that it has generated that config map. So what we want to have happen is when we create this policy, existing namespaces, because we're matching on namespaces, get this config map instantly 
And should any new namespaces be created after this point in time, those new namespaces will also get that. So let's just try this out. First thing we need to do is create the config map. So that's what I'll do. And we've created the config map in the platform namespace. And now we will create this cluster policy. And we have created the cluster policy. So now what I expect to see, and I'll show my namespaces, and I've got quite a few of them here, but let's go into the existing namespace and let's see if we got a config map. And you can see here, we did get a config map. And if we were to inspect it, we would find that it's identical to the one that's in the platform namespace. Now that's great, but the last part that's missing here is we need to be able to create new namespaces because this is a production cluster and we're gonna continue to operate this and have Caverno fire and manage that certificate, that config map for us. So let's create a new namespace. All right, so we just created a namespace called new and we will get config maps in this namespace. And we should see that Caverno has detected that new namespace and has responded by cloning this new, this config map into this new namespace. And indeed we see that here, we see the org CA has been generated into this new namespace. So let's go ahead and clean up here. All right, so that's the copying and syncing of config maps. We'll flick back, back, back over. Now, this works with any resource. It doesn't necessarily have to be with a config map, but commonly, what we see that platform teams uh, can really take advantage of are things like config maps and secrets and other resources like that, which are namespaced resources that should be present in other namespaces across the cluster. And by the way, even though I didn't do it here, we could certainly narrow the scope down and say, perhaps only namespaces with a specific label should get this or only namespaces that had these other criteria. There's a lot of flexibility there, but you kind of get the point. So that's the first use case, copying and syncing of config maps.